Making your app big puts it at risk to suffer from all these downsides. Bigger apps lose acquisitions, and bigger apps also get uninstalled to free up space. I'm sure you already know that, and you've probably just considered it a trade-off. Do you add new features and support more device configurations, but lose installs and drive more uninstalls? We don't want you to have to worry about these trade-offs. The App Bundle is the official Android app publishing format. Apps that have already adopted the bundle are seeing an average size saving of 35%. That's compared to a universal APK, and that's quite a lot. All these developers around the world have switched and are seeing fantastic size savings. Duolingo, for example, saw a 56% size saving compared to a universal APK. And it's really hard to get such big savings from incremental optimizations. We've added a new Android platform optimization to the app bundle called Uncompressed Native Libraries. Here's how it works. On Android L and below, native libraries have to be uncompressed from the APK before the platform can use them, meaning the user ends up with two copies of the library. After Android M, the platform can read the library directly from the APK if it's left uncompressed, thus saving a copy on the device. To do it yourself, you will need to, need to upload two versions of your app and create multi-APK for pre and post M. If you're using the app bundle, you just give us your libraries, and we, re and we create the required flavor for pre and post M and serve the right APK to the right user. Dynamic features can be installed on demand when user requests them. Or you can choose to defer installing them to a later time when the app goes to the background. For pre-L devices, which don't support on-demand features, we can fuse the modules into the main app so they're delivered at install time. All of these use cases are supported in production today, with millions of users benefiting already. Now that we've created our on-demand modules, let's write the code to download them. In order to interact with the Play Store to request these on-demand modules, we have to use the split install API, which is part of the Play Core library. This is a Java client library that communicates with the Play Store via IPC. Android Studio and Gradle are not the only ways that you can build bundles today. Because the format and bundle tool are open source, others are already adopting them. For example, we're excited to share that games using Unity can now build Android app bundles too. Unity added support in the 2018.3 beta release, and you can join the beta program now.